Hello friends, Adam here with FED. So today I want to talk about why the GBA games are some of the best in the series and why they are really just so important uh, to Fire Emblem like, as a whole. Uh, so the GBA games have some qualities about them that make them uh, some of the best places to start in all of Fire Emblem. And in particular, I do mean like FE7 and FE8. So the first one to be released in the West, or just around the entire world, we have FE7. And then FE8 is Sacred Stones, which is a uh, very solid uh, entry into the series that introduces branch promotions and all sorts of amazing things that we love today uh, in like Fire Emblem Awakening, Fates, and then even Three Houses. Uh, two, it's different, but it still kind of plays with the idea of like, oh, you can be in a class, kind of like branch promotions. Like definitely the the evolution of that, right? And it does a really good job of uh, so what I mean is like the GBA games do a really good job of being like a, a jumping point, a spring point, a springboard for the rest of the series to become what it is today. And I love it for that. Love it for that. And now just like some more specific things. The GBA games are some of the best places to start playing Fire Emblem, uh, in particular FE7 and FE8. FE6, Binding Blade, uh, you could definitely start there to be fine. Uh, but FE6, uh, I mean FE7 and FE8, teach you how to play the game so well through uh, FE7 through Lin Normal Mode is basically a 10 chapter tutorial that teaches you everything you need to know to get through a playthrough of this game and then pretty much any other Fire Emblem game as well. Uh, and the Sacred Stones, when you play on the easiest difficulty, gives you some tutorials as well that uh, makes it pretty easy to understand how to play. Uh, and another thing to mention is that the difficulties on these, in this game, and also in Sacred Stones, are very accessible to newcomers. Uh, when people, people often ask me, what is the game I should play after Three Houses? Or, I just played Three Houses, I loved it, what next? And uh, my answer is usually uh, something like, you know, go play FE7 if you want to get into traditional Fire Emblem. Uh, or go play like Awakening or Fates if you want more more Three Houses-esque gameplay. But if you want to get into traditional Fire Emblem, there is no better place to start than FE7. Uh, uh, it just can teach you everything. Even if you just do like get a save from like download a save from somewhere online or something, and just do uh, you know like start with Lin Hard mode, which is the difficulty is not different at all from normal to hard. This just gets rid of the tutorial and you know, make your own decisions, which I think is good. Uh, yeah, so I, I absolutely adore these games for their accessibility uh, for new players. But in other terms of accessibility, these games are actually just, like, possible to find. They're actually possible to find. You can find uh, FE7 and FE8 on the Wii U eShop. Uh, you can just buy them <laughs> for not a million dollars like you'd have to do with uh, the Tellius games, which is just ridiculous. Uh, you can... They're very easy to, uh, you know, maybe emulate them. I'm not going to tell you how to do that or where to do that or why to do that. But it is very accessible and not difficult at all. <laughs> uh, Game Boy Advance em emulators are honestly really, really well made. And at this point, there's like pretty they they run on a, they run on a toaster basically. So you're, whatever PC you have or Mac or whatever, it's it's going to run uh, a Game Boy Advance emulator to to some extent. Like no matter what. Like, I, my, my crappy laptop that I used for a long time before I got my, my PC uh, ran ran it fine. So that shouldn't even be an issue. The most accessible games in the series. Bar none. GBA games are very, very easy to find. And as you can see, by the way, I have playing on screen right now. The animations, it's just so colorful and vibrant and just honestly fun to look at. I've heard some people say that the animations get tired after a while, but I don't really get that. I... I, I Personally think the animations in the GBA games are always fun. I get more tired of the animations in like Three Houses or in uh, in uh, Like the Tellius games or even like Awakening and Fates. Yeah, I get more tired of those and I think that's because this game is so snappy GBA Fire Emblem is quick can be very quick paced. I go watch a speedrun of it. The game is so fast If you want to play quickly uh, and I don't mean like, yeah, turns and stuff, but I mean like literally from one button press to the next, you don't have to wait. That's my biggest pet peeve with uh, Three Houses Awakening, uh, Fates, Echoes, the Tellius games. Uh, the waiting. There's so much gosh darn waiting in those games. 
just like waiting for things to load, waiting for battles to happen if you want to watch them. This game gets rid of that. You don't have to wait. <laughs> you can even turn off map animations if you want to, and then the game is flying. Flying by, if you uh, are a quick decision maker. And I personally love that. I love being able to play quickly uh, if, I, uh, if I can. And now, the final thing I want to touch on. The final thing I want to touch on. Uh, this particularly applies to FE6 and FE7. Uh, so Fire Emblem Binding Blade, which is Japan exclusive, but there's a really great translation. And uh, Fire Emblem 7, the first one to come out everywhere. Uh, both these games are like just Fire Emblem in its purest form. I feel like with uh, Genealogy of the Holy War and 3C776, FE4 and FE5 respectively, uh, they tried really hard to... Uh, I don't know, they really tried hard to reinvent the formula. Reinvent uh, what FE3 made to be such a, a really like beautiful experience. And you know, they did it to success. I thought I think I love I love those games, they're great. Like, don't get me wrong. But the GBA games really hone in on what made Fire Emblem 3, Book 1 and Book 2, special. Really hone in on what made those games special and allows you to uh, uh, really just experience Fire Emblem for what it was meant to be in the first place. A, you know, a, a, a harrowing story that's very character-driven and character-centered that uh, is all about, you know, you building what you want. Like, building your team to be what you want. You're creating your own story, essentially. And I, I personally love that. So the GBA games are, are amazing. Some of the best games in the series. And... I, I truly do love them. I truly do. They're, they're amazing games. And I'm playing through one on the channel, actually. actually it's kind of a hack, uh, a, a ROM hack of FE6, which is, uh, it's called Project Ember, which just, it's it's more of like a rebalancing patch than anything, but they also just added like new classes. They added, uh, they added all sorts of really nifty and fun things that have been fun to mess around with. And I'm, and I'm only like four chapters in, so I imagine it's going to get even cooler over time. So make sure to tune into that stream, which will be happening uh, tonight around 6 or 7 p.m. Pacific time, depending on when my kid decides to go to bed. Uh, and it'll be a lot of fun. So and if you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, if you haven't subscribed and you are you made it to this point, I don't see why you wouldn't. <laughs> so yeah, just, just, just do it. Just subscribe. And like the video as well. Uh, it seems stupid, but liking the video is clicking the little thumbs up helps way more than you would think and it's 100 percent free to you there's literally like no adverse side effect other than this video will be in your liked videos folder but like almost nobody actually uses that uh so just please it would mean the world to me if you would just like the video get, hit me with that dopamine make me feel good about myself uh, and help the channel in uh in a very significant way anyways thanks for watching friends and i'll catch you later